really superb. Thank you, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. So, as you see, this is our little Barombic and village life. This is not far away from Kumba, it's just about five minutes if you take a car. Yes, here guys are eating in order to replenish us after deploring the passing away of one of ours. So they are having some little bit of uh, entertainment now after losing a very dear one. You see, so there's food for all to be able to replenish, refresh after crying somebody who was so dear to us and has gone away. Yes, it's our own way in our little African context to be able to solidarize, to live in solidarity and peace. Uh, it's another time for us, when we have lost somebody like this, to communion. The drums are there to talk after the eating. So this is refreshment time. Then after, we'll be starting to talk. You see this woman passing by. That's a, a woman in church. She just lost her son. Yes, we call her, we call the son Sunday. Gregory Akoson. Yes. So now it's refreshment time. And guys, go about having every type of food you have. Even the food will tell you about a country that is really one. Because you have food from every area. The pool fish is something you can see. That one comes from our Kumba area here. And then you will still have, uh, even though some of the grassland will find there in Jamanjama. Yes, that shows about the country that is uh, gradually and steadily becoming one. Yes, people are telling you, see, you have a fufu and okra soup. Yes, uh, this is it, just to show you how the various colors of the republic. You even have plantain, the way it is done. Yeah, you see, in a very mixed context, you see, every tribe, even the Bamele case, are all present. You have there this, um, what we call the quarter head. Yes, sitting on a table where the solidarity is shown by the contributions that people make. Yes, those who come to attend to this event. How are you, Mami? Very good, yes. Those who come to attend to the event. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pa, bon appetit, pa. Very good, aha, uh -huh. that's right. How no, pa? Yes, Nashao. Yes. Papi, Hano, you come to attend to our funeral. Yeah, the funeral. We have lost somebody, we come to sympathize. Okay, that's right. Mm, that's life now. That's correct, sir. Mm, very good. Uh -huh. So you see how it is. He was a very big Christian. You can see even the attire there come to show. These are things he wore to identify with the Lord that made us. Yes. In this our small village, Barombi Kang, you see. We commune and sympathize. That's the father sitting there eating too. You see, on a day like this, people of the church come to commune and commemorate. Yes, with a child loss. So on this table, you have what you call the Christian Men Association. They are coming to commune one of theirs, the man in red who has lost the son. Yes, that's it. We come and we go. The context vary, but the message is the same. Mami, bon appetit. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Yes, that's right. It's a very nice day, even though it is full of a uh, solemn morning. But it's a day under the nice tropical sun, under this coco coconut tree. Yes, in this compound, a modest one for that matter. Yes, telling the story of a child who grew here, was one of our own, but who has suddenly disappeared because of prolonged disease that uh, we could not be able to overcome. So you see, every bit of the village is here represented. I am taking you here in a backyard that has already just been abandoned because of, uh, as I said, you see here now, the white little pegs there are showing to you where our son has gone. That is where you have Sunday Gregory Akerson is gone. Gone for good. 
the Lord has called him today and that's it. The story of him has been told and gone. And then a new story begins. Yes, you see the guys behind there, they have worked very hard to dig the grave. These are the grave diggers. They too have their own side of the story. Yes, on a day like this, they are given time and attention because these are brave young men who have been very much able to bury one of theirs. And they are having their own fun in a very small retreat around the compound. Yes, uh, this is an African setting. Yes, there are some brave young men who work very hard too when there's a thing like this to be able to give the ceremony. Organized the graveyard of this uh, Mr. Sunday Munya. Mm -hmm. The former arbitrator was within the marsh, I mean, era, Kang Barombi. As you can see, this is the diggers that dig and bury the disease of Mr. Sunday Munya. That's very good, sir. Very good. As you have a very nice community spirit. Yes, it is one of us that has disappeared, right? Yes. And then you have, you came here to dig the grave and attend to his passing away. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Very good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> Unasha, very good. Mm -hmm. As we said, mm -hmm. the women are there now trying to take care of the food. Yes, they are the ones now trying to feed the rest of the population. And I go by, now I'm passing from behind. I happen to be one trusted fellow in this Barambika, and that shows me that uh, I have respect because uh, everywhere in this Barambic and where I go, I'm given some sort of a laissez-passer to go around and do my things. It's not like when I go out of this place and I start having, who are you and why are you doing this type of stuff? Uh -huh. You see, so different, different camps sitting in different areas, attending to different aspects of the same funeral service. Yes, so it's a, a very solemn day in our village. We are telling the story of one of ours uh, who has disappeared. Pasha, yes, uh, my whole sympathy. Mm -hmm, very good. Yes, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, very good. Amir Shaya, yes, uh, very good. Very good. Yes. It happens to one and happens to all. So. I 
Bring it back to Yes, sir. Patrick This is Patrick Sienu. Yes, this is Patrick Sienu. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes, I need a beer. Give me. <laughs> Sienu Patrick. It's me. I, no, just just give me no open hand. Just give me so I will give you the bottle. Okay. No worry. Yes. Pajero, take it. Add to your own. Yes. Uh, give it to him. Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Stand up, so stand up. Hold the camera, not touch anything. Just hold and put up my eye, so. Just hold and so. Yes, don't touch anything. Put up my eye. For my eye, yes. Very good. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a typical African context, a Bantu context. We have lost one of ours. That's the end of a life. The life has to continue. Yes, one goes, the life continues. Because there's an almighty above, we believe, who has every wisdom. Wisdom being an eternal thing with only one person having the monopoly, the God Almighty. So you see, as we cry the departure of one, we also celebrate the existence of life itself. Yes, dans mesdames, messieurs, dans ce village, oui, comme uh, n'importe quel autre village en Afrique, on célèbre la vie. On a eu un chaos, l'un de nous est passé pour au-delà. Mais ce n'est pas pour autant qu'on va pleurer, pleurer et pleurer. On pleure et à la fin, on trouve la raison de vivre. Donc pour continuer l'existence. Donc c'est pour cela que bon maintenant, après la mort, ben, on arrive à un moment de la célébration où on commence à voir la vie plutôt. On dit l'autre est passé au-delà, mais la vie continue. Oui, la vie ne s'arrête pas avec la vie d'un homme. <rire> Ce n'est pas pour parler seulement de cette affaire, c'est général. La logique de la continuité voudrait que la vie ne devrait pas s'arrêter avec la vie d'un homme. Yes, in the logic of continuity, which is a natural law, life does not end with one life. Life is bound to continue. That's the logic of continuity. This is Patrick Siani talking from one of his villages around the town called Kumba in the southwest of the Republic of Cameroon. Peace, work, fatherland. But uh, I go with this regret. We are losing many these days, many in Africa, out of misery, poverty, ignorance, disease, and out of poor policies and politics. We should be able to make Africa a better place because this was a cradle of civilization.